how to get treated as a queen by men. This is such a brilliant question. And I've been asked this question so many times by my clients because I think the women who find my work, they often notice the kind of testimonials my clients give me for my programs. And my clients get treated so well by their partners because the truth is that it's not that hard to just attract a man or to have a relationship. So many women have a man and so many women have a relationship. But what stands out in my work, if you read my client success stories on my website, sammywonder.com, is that my clients get treated really, really well by their partners, their husbands, their boyfriends, the men they're dating. Now, when I look outside in the world, I see how many single women tell me Sammy, your clients go on dates with all these men who plan five-star dinner invitations, surprise your clients with flowers, give them gifts on dates. And here I am finding it hard to even attract a decent man to go on a date with. And then I see all these amazing women in partnerships and relationships where forget about planning magical date nights or forget about bringing you flowers or gifting you jewelry, which happens all the time for my clients in Elevate. You might even be finding it hard to be visible to your partner or for him to even notice you and give you a compliment when you've made a great dinner or you've put on your red dress. So worry not, because in Sammy Wonderland, if you invest in my programs, if you do my work, I am going to show you exactly how to be the woman that commands a man's respect so deeply and so profoundly that he has no choice but to take her serious and to treat her as a queen. And forget not, you are sitting in the company of a love coach who's been doing this for 10 years, who has a tremendous track record of success for her clients, and who's in an 11-year marriage where I personally am very cherished and adored by my husband. And this is not to show off. This is actually to show you that it's possible for you when you pay close attention to what I'm saying in this video. Because it truly is a skill set to be treated like a queen. Many women have partners, but very, very few women get treated well in their relationships. So if you want to be treated like a queen, whether you're single, in a relationship, or married for many years, this video is for you and you want to make sure you watch it right to the end because I'm going to be giving you the two core ways at which you can look at how to cultivate the energy of being a queen and basically commanding respect and really good treatment from all the men in your life, not just the man you're dating or in a relationship with. This is Dating and Relationship Code Sammy Wonder. Hit like and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn how to be a strong, successful woman, but have the most amazing relationship of your life with a masculine provider, a man. So when I am teaching my clients and my programs how to show up in queen energy, I always tell them there are two ways you want to visit this. When it comes to cultivating queen energy and making sure that you're treated well by men, because that's queen energy, right? Can you imagine treating Queen Elizabeth poorly? Can you imagine showing up late for your appointment to meet Queen Elizabeth? Can you imagine not responding to a text from Queen Elizabeth? No, you can't, right? Because it's her energy. It's the way she carries herself. So it's very similar in your love life and in your relationships. It's so much about how you carry yourself and how you train men and teach men to treat you. So as I was saying, I like to visit this topic from two angles. If you're looking to cultivate queen energy, the two angles you have to look at is number one, what is my self-perception and self-concept? So how do I see myself? And the second way is how do I convey that value to men? Because it's not enough to be valuable. It's not enough to have a great self-concept. You could be extremely valuable, but if you don't know how to convey that value to men, you'll not get results. You could have a really strong self-concept, but if you don't know how to convey that concept, you don't know how to convey your value to men, it's not going to flourish. Your dynamics with men will not flourish. Men will not value you. Okay, so let's talk about how to build a strong self-concept and I will not be able to do a 
training in the next 10 minutes for you. So I highly recommend that you have put yourself already on my Pink Tuesday waitlist. Pink Tuesday is basically my Black Friday sale happens once a year and it's happening this November. It's so close now and on one day of the year for just 24 hours, you can grab all my amazing programs at 70 to 80 percent off. So it's an opportunity you don't want to miss because you'll really regret it afterwards. Once the day is over, the sale is over, all the programs will be back up at their full prices on samiwonder.com. So click in the link description below or go to my website samiwonder.com and make sure you're on the Pink Tuesday waitlist. So now let's talk about the first thing, which is having a strong self-concept. People can only treat you. Men can only treat you as well as you treat yourself, first and foremost and as well as you believe you deserve to be treated. So we're looking at action, how you treat yourself, and we're looking at your belief system, how you think about yourself and what you believe you deserve. This is called self-concept in Elevate, but I also work on it in Leap Into Love Module 2, which by the way is going on a massive sale, 70% off on Pink Tuesday. It's my top recommendation for you if you're single. And basically the idea here is that when I'm working with women, I'm always looking at how well are they looking after their health, how well are they sleeping, how well are they taking care of their appearance, and how nice, kind, and compassionate they are to themselves. So what are the actions you are taking to cultivate a strong self-love and a strong self-concept? How well do you treat yourself? Do you give yourself nice gifts? Do you exercise and look after your body? Do you sleep on time so that you get your beauty sleep and you know your mind, body, and soul are rested? Do you consider yourself important? So one is self-concept at the level of action. And the second is the self-concept at the level of belief system. So what do you think you deserve? Do you deserve to be treated well? Do you deserve to be gaslighted? Do you deserve to be treated poorly? Do you deserve to be somebody who's invited to a date and the man pays the bill for you or you don't deserve that? Do you deserve gifts? Do you deserve attention? Do you deserve pleasure in bed? What is your self-concept? And I talk about this in my program so much because I think a lot of us have a weak self-concept. A lot of amazing women I work with, they might have a lot of success in their careers, but they still might have a weak self-concept. And that means when the guy is going to say, can you split the bill? They'll be like, yeah, sure. Instead of going, no, you invited me to this. And... <laughs> That doesn't feel romantic, but that fear of not being able to say that usually comes from a weak self-concept. It's like, I don't really believe I'm worthy of this. You know, sometimes I've had clients tell me, I really wanted to eat steak, but I saw it was $80, then I didn't feel worthy of it. So all this worthiness and, you know, crisis that women are in right now, it comes from a weak self-concept and it comes from training a strong self-concept. So the good news here is that you can build a strong self-concept. We work with this in Elevate, but we also work with this in a different terminology inside Leap Into Love. So let's look at the second aspect of being treated as a queen. The first aspect is the strong self-concept. What do I believe I am worthy of? What do I deserve? And it's also called like the muscle of I am worthy. It's the muscle of worthiness. And you can train this muscle. You can train this muscle with affirmations. You can train this muscle with journaling. But most importantly, you can train this muscle by loving yourself and being nice to yourself. Because when you're nice to yourself, then when a man is not nice to you, He's not treating you like a queen you will not feel attracted to such a man when you treat yourself greatly and you treat yourself well and you invest in yourself you invest in your appearance you invest in your heart you do all this love coaching work you invest in all these programs on pink tuesday and you upskill yourself and you learn about what it takes to be a good communicator what it takes to have healthy self-esteem then when somebody doesn't treat you well you don't want to engage with those men right and that is what makes you a true queen a true queen treats herself so well loves herself so well speaks to herself so highly that when she encounters a man who doesn't match that energy that man just falls off her radar he's not going to be considered for a potential romantic match and even if you are in a relationship and let's say your partner is not treating you like a queen 
my gut instinct would say, and years of experience would say, you can turn this around. You can work on building your self-concept more strongly, and then slowly you can change the behaviors that you are tolerating in the relationship. You can start to speak up more, and, and I'll get to this in a minute because this is then about conveying value, right? But we can't convey a value that we don't feel within ourselves. And this is why doing the work and educating yourself very actively in this department is so important. So for women in relationships, my advanced relationships bundle is a top seller with my four best-selling programs on Pink Tuesday. That's a big recommendation. 75% off, massive financial savings when you dive in on Pink Tuesday. And of course, my inner circle recordings of 2018, they are a former version of Elevate highly highly recommend them if you're a woman in a relationship because you can't escape the inner work you can't trick your way into getting men to treat you like a queen you really have to feel it within you and that comes from valuing yourself and training the muscle of self-worthiness now the second part is let's say you have trained this muscle of self-worthiness you've been doing all my programs you believe in yourself you love yourself you're nice to yourself you look after yourself you know you're worth something you're worth a lot you know what value you bring to the table then the second part is now let's train ourselves to convey that value okay because if i can't convey that value it's not worth much because then the other person doesn't see my value those of you who will be diving into my programs on pink tuesday you will see how deep i go in those programs but if i were to give you some valuable tips right now on conveying value the things that come to mind are boundaries okay boundaries are a great way to convey value. When somebody treats you in a way that doesn't feel good, when somebody's late, when somebody leaves your texts on red instead of communicating with you, when somebody goes silent on you, when somebody makes a nasty comment at you in public and thinks it's funny and you don't find it funny, when somebody wants you to split the bill and it doesn't feel romantic to you, when somebody wants you to drive to them two hours in because they think they deserve it on the date, you get to define that that's not okay for you. And that's what a true queen does. She draws boundaries. And this is where men will really respect a woman. This is so counterintuitive for the good women, you know, the good girls who just say yes to everything and over accommodate and just go with whatever a man is giving them. If you just go with whatever a man is giving you, he's going to internally believe that that's what you're happy at. So why should he do more effort? Men are very efficient in the way they treat women. If a woman has higher standards and she conveys that value, the men will treat her at that level because they know that they can't have access to her or have access to her assets or have access to her time or attention or beautiful feminine energy unless they meet her at that level. But then if as a woman you don't hold your boundaries and you don't convey those standards, then men will think I can give her this minimal effort I can give her breadcrumbs and she'll still be around, so why should I make more effort, right? So when people ask me, Semi, why is it that 11 years into your marriage, your husband still adores you, brings you gifts, thinks of you like a queen, treats you like one, is so invested in you, it's because I really honor myself, but not only do I honor myself and love myself and I'm kind to myself even with my imperfections, wisdom tooth, hope it gets extracted soon, I am also conveying that value to my husband. So I am not a good girl in the traditional sense. When something upsets me, I find a respectful and kind way to talk to my husband about it. I never emasculate him. I never disrespect him. But I also respect myself. And so it conveys value. And then he values that and he wants to make an effort for that. And the second thing that comes to mind is how you hold yourself and how you treat yourself in front of men. If you talk yourself down, you know, oh, look at me. I have more weight on my belly oh my teeth are horrible oh my hair needs a cut oh you know I don't like myself right now oh I look so tired right now if you talk yourself down in front of men don't expect them to treat you like a queen because value is so much perception and if you yourself don't perceive yourself as valuable then a man will not and remember this is not about being perfect this is just about loving yourself with your imperfections because no matter what you see on Instagram and all those photoshopped photos, the truth is that in a real relationship on a day-to-day -day basis, we are all imperfect. And it is our ability to love ourselves 
even with our imperfections and think and speak highly of ourselves that we then convey to men as our value and that is what men respect so how you hold yourself in high regard how deeply you care for yourself that's what men will notice about you so if you just go like oh don't worry oh don't don't worry i got this you know when men are trying to be nice to you when men are trying to give you things and you can't receive because you've not worked on your self concept and you reject men's effort you reject men's trying to pour into you giving you gifts you like don't worry about me can i pick you up for the day no don't worry i'll get there i bought this gift for your birthday oh my god you shouldn't have spent so much so often the ability to receive is not there because the self concept is weak and we don't believe we are worthy of it so again it's all coming back to doing the inner work and that's why i'm so passionate about inviting you to pink tuesday and i really don't want you to miss out because i know you'll regret it so whether you're in india or you're in america there's something for every woman on pink tuesday no matter what your budget is everything is going on a massive discount on pink tuesday it's our black friday sale and i don't want you to miss out because doing the inner work in a structured intentional way is going to give you such incredible results in your love life of course it's going to help you attract a great man help you keep a great man help you be adored and treated like a queen by a great man but for me my programs are so much about self love there's so much about the woman you become and the woman you become the woman who likes herself loves herself is nice to herself i don't think there's anything more healing and liberating than that if this video was helpful it spoke to you it stretched you it made you think you know how much i love hearing from you in the comment section give me a like subscribe to my channel and here's to you being a queen every woman has a queen inside her and when you work on your self concept and you work on training that high self esteem you can bring that queen out in you lots of love i'll see you next week